Welcome, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change an A record in GoDaddy. Now, my last video that I recorded a couple of years ago had about 30,000 views, and someone very kindly requested, uh, the dashboard's changed, Jamie, can you record us a new video? So this is that video. It's uh, near the end of 2020, and oh, what a year it's been. Um, but GoDaddy, it might look slightly different your side, uh, depends on where you are in the world, the login page, which is this one. So I'm logged in to GoDaddy, so it says GoDaddy New Zealand, which is where this English accent is currently based in New Zealand. So I'm logged in as me, and what I would do here is I would click on my name up here. So once you're logged in, you click on your name, Right, and you go to control panel, go to the manage domains here. So click on manage domains. And then what you want to do, once it loads, you want to, let's, oh no, it's logging me back in. So let me just log myself back in. Don't you just love that, it remembers. Then <laughs> let me log myself in properly, hold on. There you go, now we're logged in. So you click on my domains and you get a list, thank you for trying to sell to me, but I'm not interested, and I've got a list of my domains here. Um, but let me go in and just, I'll just click on this top one here, and what you do is you click on these three dots, and manage DNS, okay? And then DNS stands for Domain Name Server from Memory, and so DNS Management. So here are your records. Now every one of these lines is a record, and so if you're looking to, if you get any instructions which say change your C name, which is concatenal name, or MX, which is your um, email exchange, mail exchange MX, so that's for your email setup. Um, they're, the, they're the key ones, the A, the C name, and the MX are really ones that you will probably, MX you'll only ever do once when you set up your email, or if you change your email, you might need MX. C name, depending on what platform you use, and right now you're here today to learn about a record. So. You can see a record here, and then I come along, I can't do a pencil, but all these pencils would be edit. So I can't, none of these are an A, so we don't want to edit any of those. But if I click add, let me just put in an A record here as an example. So the type is a record, okay, so A. And the host here, I'm going to put in another one here. Let me just do this. I'm just gonna create an extra one. I'm just gonna make one up here, it's a different number. I'm going to put in, let's put in uh, Jamie, just as an example. And your TTL, this is time to refresh. And so if you're making a change and you want it to happen quickly, then move it to the shorter term. Otherwise, just leave it on the hour. Click Save. And now I've just created that A record, which is down here. See the one at the bottom here? And now if I want to change an A record, which is what this video is about, so I've just shown you how to add an A record, but also to change an A record, you'll see the A, you'll see the pencil, so click on the pencil, and now you can change anything, either the host, the host is actually the subdomain, so on this GoDaddy domain up here, you can see here it says godaddy.com, so inside of GoDaddy's records, it would be DCC. So that would actually be DCC. It's the host, so that's the subdomain there. And the point to is where it's located on the internet. So an A record will be an IP address. That's an IP address. Um, the C name, you can see the C names are words, are actual URLs, but an A record is an IP address. So you change your IP address, make sure you get it right. So check it and put it in, make sure it's four lots of numbers. Okay, and then click save and you are done, okay? So um, if you need any help with this, then the business I run is the leveragemodel.com. There'll be a link underneath this video, and we help people set up their technology. They're basically organized, both their thoughts, their business, in essence, their life, but we help systemize to um, streamline your life. If you have any questions on this, put the comments below. And uh, if you like this, then feel free to like the video. And uh, subscribe if you like any more tech videos or any other videos that may come from myself or the Leverage Model. All right, bye for now.